All right, so sometimes you want to put links to different things in a document. So um, you, you get links using a combination of round and square brackets. So let's imagine that you want to say you can find um, resources from our R markdown down event at Jen's GitHub. Um, and then, so we want to link to my GitHub and we want this section to be the text that is the link. So we put that in square brackets and then you put the link inside um, round brackets. So and you can find all right so here's the repository that contains our resources from our event and we just pop that URL in there and close it with a round bracket and if we knit that you can get the link and this link will take you to my GitHub repository that has the resources we, cre we created at our markdown event. All right, what about pictures and GIFs and tweets that you might want to um, link to. So um, it's pretty easy to embed all kinds of things in Markdown documents. Let's say we want to try pictures. You can use this um, to get a picture, you use a exclamation point and then a pair of square whoops square brackets and then a link a the name of the document that lives in your working directory, right? So if we go back to our files here. Um, we let's link to this hack down um, dot png. Right. So let's knit to that and see if that works. So down the bottom here, there we go. So you can um, link to pictures insert pictures using this um, exclamation point, square brackets, and then in round brackets, the name of the file that you want to insert. Now, just so that, see how here it's got use, but then it's actually run the code to get the picture in. What you might do is, so that that instruction, we put that in back ticks. Um, if we go exclamation point, square brackets, round bracket, name of image dot png. Then if we knit that, oops, and then put another back tick. The back ticks tell uh, <clears throat> that it is text that you want it to just display rather than code that you want it to run. So if we knit that, There we go. So use name of the image dot png with an exclamation point and square brackets in the front and you'll get a picture. Um, what about tweets? So you can use the embed um, code from Twitter to insert tweets. Let's 
go find a tweet from our lady Sydney. Okay, what have we been tweeting about recently? Oops, just gonna go home. Okay. Oh yeah, our birthday party. Let's tweet about that. So we'll insert, you go embed tweet, then it gives you this piece of code. And if you copy that code into your R markdown, you can just throw it in, just copy it in and then go net. And down the bottom here, it, um, it's condensed it a little bit in this format. Um, but if you push it out to a whole HTML and go down, then it's put the whole tweet in quite a nice format. All right, you can also, you do the same kind of thing with GIFs. So use the embed um, code. So if we go to Giphy and find a GIF that is maybe birthday related, What do we want? Let's do this one. All right. So if you use the embed and get the embed code and copy it, and then just paste it into your document, um, and then go net. And go down. It's not showing it here, I think, because um, there's not really enough room. But if you push it out to HTML, um, it oh maybe it's not working very well. Oh, well, it's still loading. Still thinking about it. In theory, that should work. 